Hey everybody, it's me, Jimmy V, coming at you from the dummyblog.com in Orlando, Florida. Today I have an unboxing of a, a absolutely spectacular collaboration figure. Uh, it's right here inside this box, and I'm going to bring it out and show it to you today. So this is a collaboration between... Robert McRae, who is one of my favorite builders, Chance Wolf, who's also one of my favorite builders, and me, which I just love these collaborations. So let me dig through this giant box, Woo! I don't know if you can see this, of packing peanuts here. This came from Chance Wolf's shop, and one thing Chance Wolf is a fanatic about is packing dummies in you know very very well so I actually have a couple of things in here one is a um, is a head restoration that chance did for me which we might look at in another video and secondarily is the vi the puppet head and body that I'm really excited to show you now let me just take a quick peek here I think this is the restoration head no 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 this is oh this is the head we're looking for okay this is the head we're looking for. I'm going to stick that right there for now. Stay. Okay. And then there's got to be a body somewhere in here. Let's dig for it. Dig for it. This is another head. Let me just check to verify the, that. Yep, that is the other head. We'll stick that head back here. Which means there's a body somewhere in here. Fishing for a body. All right, here we go. I got it. I got it. Lots of peanuts, boys and girls. I'm trying not to get this all over the place when you unpack these things. It makes such a mess. Okay, here is the body. Okay, so I'm going to place... We're going to start with the body. I'm going to place the head back here into the box and open up the body. Now the body is going to give away the character to some degree before we see the head. But I want to talk about the body. Now the body is a Chance Wolf body. And um, I had the clothes on this body custom made and sent to Chance so that he could put them, uh, custom fit them to the body when he was assembling the body. And you'll see why, because the outfit is very connected to the character, so. First we'll take, ooh, he's got little, as I said, this is a collaboration between Chance, myself, and uh, Robert McRae. The head that I'm going to show you in a minute was a Robert McRae cast out head. Basically, Robert had made the head and then decided that he wasn't going to use the head to build a figure. So he had sold the head undone. I bought the head unfinished, and then I sent it to Chance to finish for me um, as, a char as a certain type of character. We then tried to make a smaller body that mimics the McRae big head style, but we did not go as traditionally small as McRae typically does with his penguin style uh, body. So we just used the small body, and this is a 2T body. And these hands are really like mini little hands here. Chance painted these hands. They look really cool. They're little hands. And you can see this outfit here is very characteristic of, you guessed it, the king, Elvis Presley. Now we've got a Elvis costume here. We've got an Elvis cape here in the back which is really, really awesome. And we have the cutout uh, made here for the your hand to go in, all stitched up. Inside here, let me just show you this. This is a Chance Wolf uh, all wood body. Here he's got his um, head locking system here. This is a bungee cord, which can, if it breaks for some reason can be easily replaced. Wooden slats. The padding wrapped around the, the body. Another thing about Chance, 
Chance's um, wood bodies are is this top wooden piece that is sanded beautifully, and then this skin-toned piece of uh, felt here that's used to um, aid in keeping the um, socket here smooth so you can, the ball of the puppet head can fit right in there and move around really easily and um, effortlessly and doesn't create a lot of friction. So that is the body. This is a, not an Elvis puppet, but an Elvis impersonator puppet. Um, I call this character Earlvis. And uh, we're going to see the Earlvis head here in a moment. I'm going to take it out. Now, in classic Robert style, this has a big head, especially when you put it on top of a small body. It creates this really cartoony illusion that uh, is, is indicative of Robert's style and something I absolutely love. I was one of Robert's first uh, customers and have, I think, five or six of his figures here in my collection at the Dummy Blog Studios. Okay. I am super excited to see this and for you to see this. 